Good morning, Abiding Family. I wanted to share with you today something that God's been drilling on me a lot. It's uh, on the topic of my identity. He's showing me that it's very important, not just that I know who he is, but that I know who I am in him. Because my identity completely changed the moment I met Jesus. Not just my position, like Ephesians says that now we are seated in heavenly places, but my core identity of who I am is completely new. I'm a new and different creation. And sometimes I get stuck of in viewing myself as the old man or the old person I was. And God's been really working out that in me. God likes to teach me using Actually, he likes to teach me using two different methods. One is my favorite, and that's when he uses an object lesson to teach me something. And the other one is my least favorite classroom, and that's when he uses a trial or suffering. But it's an effective method, but I don't like it. Today, I wanted to share the nice method of teaching, and that one is the object lesson. So right now I'm in Guatemala, and there's a beautiful colonial city here called Antigua, and it's a great walking city. And whenever I'm here, I like to just walk around the, the, the city. and. The city has every other block you walk, you will find either, depending on how you look at it, it could be a cathedral or it could be a ruin. So the city has a lot of earthquakes and it had a lot of beautiful ancient cathedrals. And throughout the years with the earthquakes, you know, pieces of the cathedral have been falling and most of them are not operational. And I was standing in front of one, staring at it, and God started showing me, what do you see? Do you see a cathedral or do you see a ruin? And how do you see yourself? Do you see yourself as a cathedral, a temple, my temple, or do you see yourself as a ruin? And if I'm going to be honest with myself, most of us, I think, will say that often when we look at ourselves, we don't see a beautiful cathedral. We see more of a ruin, a woe is me. But the Ancient of Days says otherwise. He says that his bride is beautiful. So I decide to keep wandering in the city and I go inside an actual functioning cathedral. And I'm thinking when I go inside, what a beautiful building they created inside. And again, God starts speaking to me that He thinks 
that living inside me is more beautiful. And of course, I'm gonna cry. Now I'm in this beautiful cathedral, crying because I don't feel beautiful. But you know what? The beautiful one thinks that so it is so. And that's what I wanted to leave with you today. Lessons from cathedrals. You are his temple. You're his beautiful bride. Irregardless of how many times you've failed, how many times you've been unfaithful. We see in the book of Hosea, Gomer, how unfaithful, she's a picture of us, how many times she was unfaithful to her husband, yet God kept urging the prophet Hosea to go get her back. And the name Gomer actually means completion. So whether you're having a good day or you're having a bad day, you are still beautiful to him. And God is gonna finish. He's gonna complete the work he started in you because he is your architect. He's the master mason. And that's what I wanted to share with you. Thank you.